Welcome back. This section is on moral hazard and some of the issues that are associated with moral hazards. And we're going to look at prices in terms of health insurance. And then finally we're going to end with utilization management, which are techniques that can control for moral hazard. So let's go ahead and get started. So what is moral hazard and where did it originate from? Moral hazard originated from casualty insurance or property insurance. So if your house is insured, against damages, you may have faulty wiring that causes the house to burn down. Or you may have the house may be struck by lightning which starts a fire. Or finally, the one that we're talking about moral hazard, that refers to where the owner destroys the house to collect the insurance. This terminology has been carried over to health insurance and assumes that individuals with a health insurance policy are going to use more health services. The difference in the two applications of using moral hazard, when we talk about the house and someone burns that the house down, that's immoral or illegal versus the health insurance example, it's just a more of a question of the law of demand and if they have insurance, they're more apt to use health services. So let's get, let's continue on. There's two types of moral hazard, ex ante, which is before and ex post, which is after. So let's talk a little bit about ex ante. So if a person doesn't have insurance, let's use car insurance, boat insurance, they may be very cautious because they know if they get an accident or something happens, they have to pay. And then once they get insurance, then they start, you know, flying around and going real fast because they know if they get in an accident, the insurance company is going to pay. Now let's take a look at an example for ex post or after. The most common example used is that a person that has insurance or health insurance will probably go or in a lot of cases goes to the doctor more than they need to.